Hi everybody, it is January 22nd, 2019. Here is my sky today. We had sun, then they started closing up, blocking out the sun with full cloud coverage by about 11 o'clock this morning. Isn't it great that you have man determining whether or not you're going to have sun. And it seems that man doesn't want us to have much sun anymore. Never in all the time that I've been in South Carolina, it has never been like this. It was one of the greatest things that I, I loved about South Carolina was the sun. Now they are blocking it out so often but when they do this they have to increase the frequencies and that's when my pain shoots up and as you can see the frequencies in the sky making themselves visible a neighbor said today that she didn't know why she was in so much pain Well, I've told her over and over again, the Wi-Fi that she's sitting in 24-7 and the frequencies that were saturated in, I just, I didn't even say anything. But I wasn't surprised that she was in a lot of pain. So listen, there's an urgent matter that I want to um, note. I have a subscriber who is in desperate need of a bedroom bathroom in San Mateo County, San Francisco. I'm just going to be going through some uh, some of the sky here in good old South Carolina, Anderson, South Carolina, upstate South Carolina, as I talk to you. And the video that you're seeing is just within the last week. So we are getting inundated with these toxic chemicals, heavy metals. This is our sky. It is so surreal. It's, but to just be alone, noticing, um, where are the people saying what the hell is going on? We have a very, very strange population of people who clearly just don't care to live reality or see it. Um, I don't know. But this subscriber, her lease ends at the end of the month and she really needs to find a place if you have a bedroom in San Mateo County, South San Francisco, uh, that you rent out or you know someone who is renting a bedroom, she can spend $800 to $1,000 a month, which we're talking a bedroom, okay? But that's San Francisco, right? $1,000 a month for a bedroom. Unbelievable what this country has become. Um, if you know of anyone, could you please email me at neverlosetruth at gmail.com and I will pass the information along to her. It would really help her out. And if any of you know Look at how shaky this is. This is, I don't think I'm this shaky. If your camera is really old, does it lose its stabilization function capability? That might be what's going on. So this is our sky. Isn't it beautiful? It's wonderful. And no one ever mentions it. 
No one. You listen to, well, I do, in the car. You listen to the talk show radio host. And one is from South Carolina. Never, ever is the sky mentioned. You have pink, you've got all these colors. You've got white, black, gray clouds. I mean, it's so disgusting looking, so toxic looking, but you never hear anyone talking about it. Oh, they talk about health, people getting sick. Oh, politics just on and on and on and on. Washington, D.C. drama. But you never hear them talk about the sky. So this was um, two days ago or yesterday. I want you to note how blue, there's, you know, obvious blue here, right? I'm going to show you what it looked like 10 minutes later. The use of frequencies, boy, they can alter your sky very quickly. But notice also here, they were just, uh, once again, you know, blocking out the sun. So this is what it became within 10 minutes. It was a nice, solid, smooth, gray dome. Unbelievable. We have psychopaths determining whether or not we'll get any sun. Don't you love it? I don't. Really pisses me off. I also want to um, say, again, a subscriber left a comment saying, please, please say, you know, um, your email address, anybody who wants to connect with those in your state, leave me an email at truth at gmail.com. I will put that below this video, my email address. And in the subject heading, put the state that you live in and I will pass it along your email address to others who live in your state. But someone in Nebraska really wants to hear from people. Look at all of the microwaves. Look at this. It's so unbelievably just so toxic. The sky has been altered to a point where everybody should be up in arms talking about it. Look at all of the microwaves, man. They are making these they're ramping up the use of these microwaves. And yeah, I'm feeling it. I'd love to hear how you guys are feeling. I know that a lot of you are really struggling. And I got pictures from a subscriber of her calf. And it is unbelievably swollen. And nobody is right here.
Now I look at this and I, is it a surprise that I should come home and then start a video and suddenly I am with what I have been feeling more frequently like this it's a weird like virus that I know it's not a virus but it lays me out and I can't do a friggin thing now this thing was weird this thing it just came from nowhere and it looked like and unfortunately I didn't have my camera on it but there it was like an explosion in the sky this bulb right around here it just lit up it was round like a bulb and then it was like this bizarre aqua color that just ran through the cloud but I couldn't I couldn't get it but then about 10 minutes later we get this now this should be stopping everybody in their tracks but it doesn't no one talks about anything here look at the microwaves in this they are they're controlling all natural processes and when you know that you know that your own natural processes are being controlled and altered as well that's a kind of funky uh, shot of the sky but yeah I had to get this this is what greets you when you walk into Ingalls in Anderson, South Carolina. Get a flu shot and get. You can get, what was that? You can get free $10 gift card. Wow, they're caring for your health. It's really um, kind of infuriating to live this time but you know I come out of Ingalls and this is what I see this is our sky now and I have to say this came about pretty quickly because it this was not what we were seeing um, A year ago, a year ago, we would see on occasion the pink, but it wasn't, it wasn't like a complete surround. And now, you know, it's like driving, it, this is what it is, unless we have the full coverage. No one talks about anything here. It's like nobody sees anything. I would think that this would be really freaking people out. Nope. Nada. Nothing. You hear nothing. So this was, I don't know, was it yesterday? Yeah, I don't like, you know, feeling not myself and whether it's emotionally, physically, and ment cognitively. Um, yeah, I'd like to hear from you guys how you are doing. Yeah, it's uh, the saturation of toxins. I know that so many of you are really struggling now. This was a weird thing, a weird, like, what is all of the red here? 
Looks like the plane is burning up. So, um, oh, I have to show you the curtain. Started out as a chemtrail with the use of the frequencies, they make it thicker. And then it was like a curtain dropped. Yeah. Life sure has become something, well, not quite right. It's, uh, Sure, wish if we could go back some decades. Because this is getting. Harder and harder to maintain your sanity. When you live. You now with. Complete. Toxic insanity all around. I want to show you, um, this is my, these are all the people that have emailed and wanted to connect with others. The reason why I'm showing you this is because I only have one in Germany. Only one. Aren't there more? Because I get comments from uh, several subscribers who live in Germany. Only one in Massachusetts? Really? Um, one in Nebraska? And Canada? Ontario? I had people leaving comments saying they wanted to meet other people. So if you do, email me, neverlosetruth at gmail.com. But Nebraska really does want to meet someone. And uh, Michigan, Montana, Minnesota, South Carolina. There were more people in South Carolina that left comments but I only got one email. Um, Oregon, there were more of you in Oregon that left comments, but I only got one email. Um, Wisconsin, Texas, I got several comments from people in Texas and I only got one email. So, um, Yeah, these are people who really do want to meet up with people. So if you're in, if you too want to meet up, please, you know, um, neverlosetruth at gmail.com. It's a time that people really do need to come together and support one another. And and talk about what is happening because there are so many that have no one to talk to. And doing this, you know, cyber, you know, I, look, thank God we do have um, the ability to at least, you know, connect in the cyber world. But real life is really important. And doing it alone in real life, it's very difficult. So, I'll leave my email address below this video. I hope that you're all doing well. And I'm hoping to feel a little bit better tomorrow so that I can post the videos that I've been doing research on. Yeah. Well, we'll see what tomorrow brings.
Ciao, guys.